What's up everybody, it's Troy Kearns and in today's video we're gonna be going through how we're figuring out our blinds in our new office. And I've got Tim Sanders with Solar Shield. He actually did our house, he did an amazing job. I don't even know what we spent. What did we spend by the way? Uh, I think it was about $24,000. $24,000 bucks on shades. So in today's video, he's gonna be breaking down what we're doing in this office and why. So first of all, we have an amazing view out here. I don't really have a need for shade, but what we're gonna be planning on doing, if you can see around here, and you see all this camera equipment right here, what I'm gonna be planning on doing is actually doing filming in here in podcasts. We're gonna to need to black it out because we're kind of in a fishbowl. Tim, you wanna break down kind of what we yeah. talked about so far? So, uh, what we talked about earlier, when it comes to windows like big, large open windows and roller shades, there's two real main options. One is gonna be a fabric that is more of a screen mesh material. That's gonna give you an actual view through and give you shading during the day, but it is still gonna allow some natural light to get through uh, and it also at nighttime doesn't give privacy doesn't really let you completely close out the space cool so i'm gonna let you hold that i'll grab the other alternative if we really want to cut out that light um, and like you're saying for recording and filming and you want to be able to control your light but also whenever you want raise the shades up and have your full-on view the uh, solid fabric a decorative fabric like this works really really well because it it uh, cuts out all of the direct light coming in it cuts out any view in and out so basically what uh, what you've got two options for is a is a fabric that allows you to see through and and get some shading or a fabric that allows you to really black it out control your light and have full privacy so that's kind of the two when you're looking at roller shades that's kind of the two main uh concerns or considerations so cost for cost your screen shades are gonna be a little bit more in in price more money and a little lower on cost with this decorative fabric less money we'd want to go with less money because it serves two purposes for us one if i'm going to look at the view here I want to see the view. This is a beautiful view. We're in the Power and Light District in downtown Kansas City on the corner of 10th and Main. It's a beautiful view. I want it open all the time. But if we're doing filming in here, I want to be able to black this thing out. One cool thing to talk about here, kind of tell us about your product mix here. Yeah, so overall we've got kind of all of our screen fabrics are back here. We've got, um, I don't know, about 50 or 60 different fabrics to choose from for the, for the kind of commercial screen fabrics. And then where we work in a lot for our residential products are in these uh, this stack of fabrics and this is just one of the many many books we have in our van by the way but uh, this is one of our kind of premier partner programs that we're working with right now but um, there are a ton of different textures colors you can get a lot of different choices for you know in home as far as decorating different um, light controls and privacies and things like that something we haven't talked about quite yet is uh, when it comes to roller shades we've got the ability to um, have them capped at the top with a cassette or a fascia that is an added cost to add those and a lot of times on high up commercial spaces like this we just do an exposed roller it doesn't look bad at all and it looks a little more a bit more industrial kind of right. goes with the office feel and it saves on cost so you're not paying that additional uh, fee for a valance to be up there but that's one of those things that you get to choose from when you're picking a shade if you want a covering or if you've got a, already a valance or a cornice or something that's over it or if you want the shade itself to have that built-in valance where it's rolling up and you know kind of disappearing and tucking away inside of that so and then as far as controls we we did discuss that a little bit already but uh, <laughs> you've got the, the option of a chain just a standard bead chain that you pull shade goes up and down right uh, for a lot of residential applications we have the next step up is cordless where you push up pull down would not be that would not be a good situation here with your windows that are 100 inches off the sill so for a case like this usually we recommend the motorization where you just have everything's automated each shade has the ability to control it individually or you can control everything as a group have it all go up all go down just with a touch of a button we can link that to an app on your phone you can actually have the ability to set schedules and all sorts of cool things and i know Notice one thing about you is that you're very tech savvy. Yes, nothing super fancy. We do everything. Our entire business is run off of our uh, all of our software, our tablets. We bring a tablet into every call that we go into. The big thing with that is um, the ability to go over pictures and videos. Well, all myself and all my guys that go into homes and businesses, we all carry this to where we can go into a customer's house, find something that you know kind of relates to their situation, and be able to show them, you know, hey, this is kind of what it's going to look like. It allows us to kind of help set expectations correctly for people right off the bat. And then when it 
it comes time to the measuring um, and quoting, we do all of that just right in a software that was custom built for our, uh, for our business. It allows us to run through, create an entire detailed measure sheet. And once we make our final selections, I just enter it on line one, copy and paste it to all those. And within just usually a few minutes, I can turn around and have a full blown quote for my- Are you an engineer by trade? No, I'm not, no. <laughs> just a fixer of things. That's kind of my blind shade solutions is our tagline. And that solutions has been just a huge part of our business since we've started day one. What we do is window coverings, but what I do every day is we go into people's homes that really honestly, a lot of times I have no idea of, you know, how to do what they want to do. They kind of can envision something, but they really don't know how to get there. Or we get into a lot of projects where there is te really technical problems on how to get the thing done or, you know, a lot of different things. So most of our days are spent, you know, solving those types of problems over and over again. And on the business side of it for us, processes, management systems, all that stuff goes into solutions and problem solving. So we've, it's just been a part of our natural over the last almost 20 years of growing a business. <laughs> you just, you either have to be on that or you're always kind of behind. So, or you're out of business. Or you're out of business. Yeah. Which right. we, we've always tried to stay on the <laughs> ahead of the curve if we can. So. so Tim, one thing that you mentioned to me that I thought was really cool and I didn't know because I yeah. wasn't a part of the process of install, but you said yeah. that all of your techs are sales guys and yep. you're one of the techs and you're yep. one of the sales guys. Yep. A lot of times when you're dealing with like a company, you have the sale guy who promised you all the yes. world, doesn't communicate that to the tech. Correct. You say that basically all of your guys who come out in the field yep. are the ones that are gonna install yep. the actual shades. Yep, the finished product. Yeah, and that's a huge, for us, that's been a huge benefit for just the growth of our business. So we have broken very hard away from the model of a salesperson sells a product and then a contractor or even just an install team from a business comes out. Years and years and years ago, what got me into this industry was contract installing. And I was able to see on a beneficial side now, I was able to see all the failures and shortcomings that that business model provides. And the people that fail the most in that is the consumer. It's it, The business struggles with that, the contractor really struggles, but it's the person who's been waiting six or eight weeks for a product to be installed and a guy walks in and is like, well, that's not my problem. It, it was measured wrong or they sent the wrong thing. I got to go. Our system allows for that seamless for the end consumer, the person who's getting us to come in and do the measurement and the install. It allows us to walk them through that entire process. And at the very end, when we install it, it's all, there's no surprises and nobody's throwing anybody under the bus. If there is, you know, happens to be some little problem that pops up, we just solve it, get it fixed and everybody's happy. So same product. My wife got three bits and these guys, were low by a mile. So the best days. price. Best price and exactly the same product. And probably better service. Oh, the service, yeah. Rach raved about you guys. And that's the, we do have a best price guarantee. So even if people are out getting multiple bids and they, somehow they get a lower quote, then we'll just, we've got an entire program that takes care of that. So we, I mean, I don't want to be the cheapest in Kansas City, but honestly, I've we continue to hear really, really good feedback on our pricing, which is great. If you're the best value and you're getting like, the most business yeah. and you're making money, who cares? Yeah, exactly. Right? Like I'd rather be the way I look at it. I'd always rather be like the best deal yeah. because then you know that you're going to kill your competition. So what do you think? You like these blinds? They're going to be all the way blacking out here from all the way over there to all the way over here. So we shouldn't have pretty much any light coming through here. That was the whole point. So that when we have a guest, we'll put like a little camera here, basically a camera. However, we set this up two cameras, one camera. We'll have like a little pop-up pod podcast studio and that's why I did it just so we could be able to shoot some stuff. It looks great. The motor is actually inside this right here. It's a tubular motor, so it goes way inside there. So um, that's why it's spinning because you guys already pre-programmed yeah. it out there. Yep, yep. We got everything pre-programmed and preset before we uh, before you brought it in. So how long is the warranty? Five years on the motor, lifetime on the shade. So five years. Okay, and if somebody wants to buy blinds, yep. you're in. Uh, Kansas City, Missouri. So KCMOBlinds.com is our website. Our phone is 816-479-0160. And yeah, we service the entire Kansas City metro area, north, south, east, west. Haven't said no to one anywhere on the Martin metro yet. So uh, a couple things just to go over real quick at the end. This is your remote. So you've got a zero channel. Um, and then you've got one through 10 that basically uh, you can cycle through your channels here. You've got an up button, a down button, and a stop button. So I'm gonna show you with the zero channel, if we hit the up button, all 10 shades are gonna move up and they're just gonna travel all the way to their top limit. But at any point, you can hit the stop button, which will stop a mid, uh, mid process wherever they're at. The middle button also has one extra fun function, which is if you hold that down for about three seconds, all these outer shades are actually going to go down to the midway point and they'll just stop in a nice straight line. So if you did want to take a little bit of the sun out, 
but still have your view outside. You can always have it set at a midpoint. And then again, just a touch of a button down, all the shades go down as a group. And then you can change the channel to cycle out or to uh, get each individual shade. And so if we wanted to just do this big middle window, for instance, we go to shade nine or channel nine, hit the up button, and that shade's just gonna open by itself. Um, or if you just if you want it dark, but you want to be able to see out just a little bit while you're working at your desk, you can you can just raise that up, hit the stop button wherever you want it. There you go. So that'll bring everything up. And then the last piece of this is these shades are not hardwired into your building, so they're not running on any of your power. They're battery operated. So you do have these charge cables. Um, they've got a USB brick and a regular whoops, regular charger. Each shade on the motor head, this white motor head, has a USB uh, micro USB C and you just reach up and plug that in like a cell phone take this to your closest outlet plug it in and uh, let it charge it's got a little light there's a little uh, that how long you got it for uh, about four hours and you only do that every nine to ten months so let's see how dark it gets in here all right yeah it's pretty dark guys if you want to order blinds and let me know what you think about this all right cool